section 1.1, Linear Equations and Solutions. A linear equation is an equation in the form of a1x1 plus a2x2 plus dot 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 anxn is equal to b. Where a1, a2, and an are called our coefficients and x1, x2, and xn are called our unknowns. We say that b is our constant term and n is the number of unknowns in this equation. Here are some examples of linear equations ax plus by equals c, or any coefficient that is a real number is in this form, 2x plus 3 halves y plus the square root of 5z is equal to cosine of pi. Notice here that cosine of pi is the constant term, even though it has the trig function cosine in it. Then we have nonlinear equations, which are equations that are not linear. Here are some examples of nonlinear equations. Notice that none of the degrees of the variables are to the first power, so therefore they are nonlinear. When we have a system of linear equations, we call it a linear system. It is a collection of one or more linear equations involving the same variables as listed below. In this system, we notice that m represents the number of equations, n represents the number of variables, and the coefficient a sub mn is m the equation and n the variable. As listed here, this example would be the nth, excuse me, a sub 2, 2 would be the second equation with the second variable. If we have a homogeneous linear system, we say that it is a linear system which the constant terms are all zeros. So for instance, um, coefficients b1, b2 through bn would all be equal to zero. Let's look at an example of a system of linear equations. x minus 4y plus 2z minus v plus 2w is equal to zero, and 2x minus 8y plus 3z plus 2v minus w is equal to zero. So what would the solution to this system look like? If we have x equal to 11, y equal to 1, z equal to negative 4, v equal to negative 1, and w equal to zero, sometimes written in the parenthetical form of x, y, z, v, w, um, as listed here. Okay. We can check this by plugging in this solution into both equations. The question is, is this the only solution to this equation? And we look and we notice that that answer is no. Why? Because if I use this solution here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and plug into both of the systems, it is also correct for both equations. We will see later on how to find all the solutions to that system. But we call a solution set the set of all possible solutions. So we'll learn later on how to find the solution set of a system. Two systems that have the same solution set are said to be equivalent systems. So we're talking about solutions to these linear systems. What does it actually mean to have a solution to a linear system? Let's consider this system below, L1 and L2. L1 and L2 represent lines in this case. Okay. We're going to look at this form, but the simplified form of this, instead of using the A M sub, A M sub N notation, we're going to use A1 and B1, A2 and B2. So line 1 is a1x plus b1, 
y is equal to d1 and l2 is a2x plus b2y is equal to d2. So what do these two lines, how could they possibly be represented? If L1 happens to look like this and L2 happens to look like this, what do we notice here? That these two lines intersect at this one point. If I extend either of these lines, they still will not cross at any other point. And since it only has one solution, we call this a unique solution. Now, what if the lines look like this? What L1 looks like, ooh, ooh, sorry, this, and L2 looks like this, okay? And assuming that these two lines are parallel. If these two lines are parallel, that means that as far as we extend them in either direction, they will never touch. And so we say that this system has no solution. Okay. Then we might have the case where L1 looks like this and L2, if I draw that correctly, happens to overlap L1. So what do we notice? That every point on this line is a solution. And since there are infinitely many points on this line, we say that these line, this um, system has infinitely many solutions. So one of the most important questions we want to know about this linear system is, does the system have a solution? And if it does, is that solution unique? And so we have a definition. A system of linear equations that has no solution is called an inconsistent system, and a system that is has at least one solution is called a consistent solution. I mean, excuse me, a consistent system. Let's consider the um, graphs we have from a previous slide. Okay? So um, keep in mind that a consistent system must have at least one solution. So if we look at our first system, we can say that a unique solution is also consistent. Okay. If it has no solution, we saw that this is an inconsistent system. Now if I have infinitely many solutions, since to be consistent you only have to have at least one solution, this has infinitely many, then we say that this system is also consistent. And I spelled it wrong. We'll just put a period right here. You guys know what I mean. Now what I want to leave you to think about is what happens if I have a linear system with three unknowns, okay? So say x, y, and z with constant terms d1, d2, and d3, okay? What would a unique solution for this system actually look like? What would it look like if there were no solutions for this linear system, okay? And what can we describe, how many situations could we have where we have infinitely many solutions? Okay? So think about this and we'll discuss this in our next meeting.